Hi and welcome to Add More Zest and my name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147 and I might have ordered something from Diamond Art Studio in their new release. So this was a release at end of November, beginning of December. Um, because I have December Advent on um, for the whole month of December, while I'm very eager and I am unboxing this in December, you guys will be seeing the video in January. And that is just purely because, um, yeah, I'm busy doing Advent in December, or I was when this is going on. But, look, I mean, it looks cute even when you first get it. So, let me show you which one I chose. This is, say, this is a new artist they're working with. It also has a bee diamond as well, which made me rather excited. So, okay, I mean, paper is able to be recycled. Box will, of course, hold the diamond painting until I'm ready to do it and it gets picked. But let's get inside the box. So, there's nothing in the box. We're good. Box is empty. Uh, let me know if anybody else ordered from from them, but in this new release, I'm sure there's more coming. Have you read it? Can you see it already? That, no, that's not upside down. I'll tell you that now. This is the right way up. This is a 60 by 90. It has 29 colours and it has an AB. I need to turn it on its side, don't I? I'm not going to fit this on my desk. Oh, goodness me when I'm working with this. You're going to have to click on the link to see it in its full glory. And, and Sam did say she'd sent me something little extra. Uh, so I'll have a look at those in a minute. But look at that amount of diamonds. Wowzers. Look at those purples and blues. How much blue? dark blue oh we've got some sparkly a b i've got some 386 a little hint of pink oh those colors are gorgeous i do like my blues i like purple as well in in most instances i'll definitely go a little bit more blue than purple but this is by esther anna Voros, I may have spelt that wrong. Not spelt that wrong, said it wrong. <laughs> I didn't spell it. Um, that is the artist because it is licensed artwork. Uh, it's a little bit different and that's why I like it. Um, there's about three, I think there was three released. But look, so we've got gorgeous deer at the bottom. Then we've got kind of like mushrooms, but very big mushrooms. And then we've got all this. There's probably a lot more meaning behind this than I'm actually aware of. Um, but then there's all this sort of light source going up. And then we have what looks like trees that are upside down. Very, very different, but love it. Absolutely love it. And say it does have 29 colours, it does come with a white AB. And having a look at the AB, so we have this sort of strand of light here, has a lot of AB in it, as does this one here, as does this little one here, and this little one here, and this one. So these sort of extra strands of light even with this big one but it's the little ones that have that AB to give it that extra definition and sparkle and then we do have some down here some AB here some here and then some in what I think is a deer uh, there's actually some scatterings all around the side as well these like little stars that is AB in those this darker colour in the square dot 
is 939. Uh, there is a little bit of 310, but it is primarily 939 across there. We've got some 310 in the mushroom branches, I'm going to say. I may have got this completely wrong. Please feel free to correct me. But I just like the picture. So I got the picture. Um, I love the colours. Love the colours. I say the pinks and the purples mixed in with all that blue. I just think it is absolutely striking. And I think it's different. It's very different to anything else that I've actually got. It is a poured glue, so it can cope with the fact that I am moving it about. See, I normally start at the bottom of a picture, but then I think, should I start at the top of this one because the deer's at the bottom? But then I'm actually like, no, because there's still stuff at the top. Uh, it does have a bit more of the 310 of this top set. Well, in fact, it's half and half. Half 939, half 310. That'll give a nice look to it. And then we've got these purples all dotted in here and in the trees. <gasps> and then the blue for the background. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. I think that's going to look amazing when it's done. Okay, what have I got in, in these mysterious little pouches? What's in there? Oh, so we've got pen tips. So she did say she'd sneaked a pen in there for me. Let me have a look. These velvet bags are gorgeous. And they're signature purple for Diamond Art Studio. Oh, it's the gorgeous like coffee brown one. Okay, you're going to see this in your future, in the fact that I'm going to use this in one of my December Advent Whippin' Chats. I'm going to use this pen. However, for you guys, you'll only see this video of me actually unboxing this in January. Sometimes, you know, this whole modern technology, backwards and forwards, I've popped a little straightener on. I do like a good straightener. And I'll use that. Um, I'll use that tomorrow in my whipping chat. But back to January, <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited to do this one. I think it is nice to do a diamond painting. That is, see, this is probably one that's sort of out of my. I I want to say out of my comfort zone, but it's not out of my comfort zone in relation to diamond painting because I'm more than happy to do a diamond painting this big I'm more than happy for it to be in square the amount of single colors you know in some of these blues and stuff don't bother me at all I quite enjoy color blocking and because I'd work on it this way across I feel like yes I'd have a batch to color block but I'd then have quite a few different colors to break it up and then I'd be doing another batch. So I'm more than happy with that. I think when I say out of my comfort zone is I think it's an image that I wouldn't normally do, but I did like it and I was attracted to it. And I think, I think because the diamond, because the actual image is a little bit different in the fact that it could possibly go either way up. Um, I think that's what is a little bit out of my comfort zone. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just think it's different. And sometimes it's nice to have something in your stash that's just, it's just looking different. It's, you know, and when I, when I get to actually do this one, I think it's going to look amazing once it's finished. I think the diamonds and the ABs that are going to be scattered all the way through in these stars. And in these, you know, the, the way these swirls come up, I think it's going to look, I think it's going to look really, really good. I've got no idea where it's going, but that's not the point. I've got this one for pure fun because I liked it. So a thank you so much to um, Sam and Giles for my pen. Um, and also thank you for getting this diamond painting out so quick. Um, they are super quick. With getting goodies out it just took me a long time to actually get round to opening it uh, but I'm sure there will be many more 
that I'm purchasing in the future. I'm waiting for a few more splatter work ones to come out. Um, if and when they do, you know, they're always a little dream in my head and we'll see whether whether they do come to life or not. Um, because that's more my comfort zone. This is a little bit out of it, but actually you could do this as two paintings. I've just had a look. You could have that as one painting and have the other one. And anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm going to go. <laughs> but this is a 60 by 90. It is a square with a B. And I'm going to pop this one in my large painting stash. I need to enter it into my log book. And then I'm going to pop it in with my stash. And the next time I'm due to pick a big, a big one, we'll see if the app decides that it's, whether it's this one or not. But thank you all for watching me rambling in December, in your January. And I will speak to you all again very soon.